What's good, YouTube? DM Gaming here, man. Let me turn this down in the background because, guys, today I'm, I'm going for another challenge. I'm going for another challenge. Let's see if I can be productive with another team's offense. So, of course, we're going to go to uh, training. We're going to go to open practice. Guys, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, don't be a point dexter. Get out the portal. Subscribe to the channel. Become five-star. You know how we do. So, going to uh let's do normal practice here uh and i was looking at some of the comments i've seen arkansas ucla byu uh kennesaw state and it is pretty interesting i did i just kind of random picked one and brigham young was the one that came up so uh let's go to byu cougars now mind you i just get a random defense nevada Okay, whatever. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know what playbook they run. I really don't. And, and looking at the team settings, it's just gonna say BYU. I have no idea what they run. Um, but I want to add something to this series. Okay, I want to take a look at their. Um, I'm gonna take a look at their personnel as well. Uh, let's just go. So formation wise, they're spread. I mean, you've got 18 plays out of ace deuce i don't think it shows you exactly how many formations they have they're a spread team but what i do like is that they do have a single back but notice they only have one formation so this is a spread team as most teams are in this game uh so we'll do a random play with l3 and defensively nevada runs a 335 stack that's similar to what we saw uh last week or last video i guess more or less. Of course, I'm going to respot the ball. Uh, try to move it down closer to the 50. Be white. You got a black quarterback? Nah, he ain't black. He's supposed to be white. Uh, this is going to be the 50 right here. Uh, okay. Spread playbook. Um, could be the power spread. All right. So off top, y'all already know me. If those receivers are pressing, I want to run go balls. Now, here's the deal. Okay. So I check circle to a go on this play. I do that every time because in this game, if they can get off the receiver, a lot of times they'll be open. Um, now, I do need somebody to hold the safeties, but I do need some pass protection. So I want to target a, a specific DB right here. So I'm going to go to matchups. And who has the better matchup? The one on the left. All right, and plus you got the star player over there. So I'm going to use my running back right here. I'm going to put him in motion on this side. All right, I'm going to put him on a uh, go route as well. All right, so now I'm going to try to hold that safety. But notice I'm going to need some blockers on here. So I'm going to call my tight ends um, to block. I'm just going to call them tight ends because they're in a tight end role. All right, so hopefully if the running back holds the safety, we can have a one-on-one -on -one right here. Snap of the ball. Kind of put it inside a little bit. Ah, go and get that, man. You got to go and get that. One-on-one, -on -one, you got to go and get that. That's definitely there. All right, next play. Next formation. The corner is off right here, so I don't want to... How do I do a custom stem? There we go. Let's stem that down right there. Uh, and then I want to extend this route. Can I extend it? Nope, it doesn't let me. That's weird. Anyway, yeah, let's just run him on the post. And actually, now I should be able to stem it, custom stem it down. Yeah, let's do that right there. Okay, and then backside, they're going to run those guys off. That's what we're looking for. We're looking to the right side of the field. If that corner drops, I'm going to hit the hitch route. Um, if this defensive, or the linebacker really, it's our DN comes and that safety drops, I'm going to hit this this post route right here. He drops, hit the post. Ah, you got to hold on to the ball. Did he catch it? No, no, he caught it. He caught it. All right, I want to see. I didn't even pay attention to if that corner dropped. I was looking at that safety. Since it's closer, it's a closer throw. Corner, yeah, that, that wouldn't have been open right there. This one definitely was open, but I wasn't anticipating the play action right here. If that was just a regular drop bag, man, I would have hit that way earlier. Okay, we, we assume in blitz, okay? We're in the stack formation. I actually have this in my variant shoot. Only thing with the variant shoot, they're lined up outside the numbers, 
Okay, uh, corner on the left is playing about four yards off. Corner on the right side with X and circle, he's playing about, um, actually, he's playing about four yards off. The other one's playing about three. So everybody's pulling to that side. Doesn't mean we can't hit the backside. So we're just paying attention to those cornerbacks. It's either going to be square or circle. Square. Run into that gap. Get in there. Nematode. Jesus. I like the little tunnel screen action. I'm so used to the veer and shoot. It's just a regular screenplay. I'm so used to the veer and shoot being able to, um, like, it's, it's weird. You learn how to see routes off of the screen. It is so crazy. That's why people crap on the veer and shoot, call it a cheese offense and this and that. But it's really not because you you can't even see your routes. Like, you got to kind of read the secondary, know what route you're running, and know what's going to come open. Okay, see, so on this side here, that post route, that, that's not going to work. All right. I want to extend that route. I, I like it, but I want to extend it. Can I extend it? No, they're not letting me extend it. All right. So let's put him on a true post route then. There we go. X, uh, I don't I don't see that linebacker dropping back. R1 is probably the one that's going to be open. If that corner drives on that, I'm going to drill that. Uh, as a matter of fact, because I don't see X being open, let's have him hold the safety right there. Now we're looking at R1 and circle right here on this particular route. Okay. If the corner drops, hit R1. If he comes down on it, hit in circle because X is going to hold the safety. The linebacker actually flew into the flats, but he's out of position right there. We can hit that every time. Three to four yards a pop. We'll take that on Heisman. All right. Just average your regular replay. Good blocking. Nice, powerful, strong back right there. Could have broke that tackle, though. Stiff arms need to be a little more powerful in here. We got a fade route right here by square. I don't really like that, especially not with two high safeties. But it's whatever. Maybe he'll run them off. Um, let's see what happens. I don't want to put my back to block. That's never going to work right there. Swizz route by the tight end right there. Perfect, because he runs the corner off. First down. All right, we got a guy rolling down right here. That's perfectly fine. Uh, it's a play action play, obviously. Uh, well, who do we want to hit on this though? Since he's rolling down, oh no, he rolled back. Let's put this. Let's put the wide receiver right here on the slant route. Right there, money baby, money baby. Let's go. Oh, we got three high safeties right here. Cover four possibly. Uh, it's a run play anyway, so let's run it. He's too far back to play that running back, so we just gonna give it. Nothing wrong with that at all. Let's go. Three high safeties again. Toss play motion. They're so far back. They're they're not gonna play this run right. Get outside. Get outside. Get outside. Come on, seal the edge, baby. Come on, man. We gotta get out there. All right, they're in the tight. Cause notice that the defensive ends are inside, not outside of the tackles. Basic run play right here. I wouldn't like this run play because in the tight, they're they're literally there to uh, force you to run the ball outside. In the traditional 3-3-5, those guys would be outside shade of the tackles. But right here, they're inside shade to kind of force me to bounce it and spill it to the linebackers. Good run right there. Spill just means like make it go outside. All right. Do we like what we have here? Okay, I got one high safety. I want to pressure this safety. Can I move this guy over here? Man, no. Let's put him Let's put him on a post route, actually. Because I want to attack this safety. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's just do that. Let's just do that. Ah, I tried to throw it where, it hit, where he'd run underneath the safety instead of on top of the freaking safety. He definitely attacked him, though. All right, we're looking at X right here. If he runs the corner off, R1 should hold the backer. If the backer bites into the flats, the one with the little flame over his head, I'm looking to the right side. If he comes down on the flats, then R1 should be open. There should be a small window right there. But circle, I'm going to get him to run them off because me looking at this route right here, this is an actual route, but I got a feeling that you're going to have too many people right there, if that makes sense. So let's run him off. Okay. 
now that'll get the safety's attention as well. R1, I'm looking at R1 or X right here. X. There we go. Good deal. All right, and see what I was looking at. I wish I could see what it would look like with the regular route. Um, I'm looking at this corner here. All right. Looking at that that corner of the field right there. See how the safety went with that fade route? Okay, if he had ran a hitch route right there, it'd been a cluster right here. That corner would probably would have been there. The safety would have been there. Okay, it looks like a cover two man, possibly. Uh, we got a hitch route. This is RPO, isn't it? Yep, this is RPO. He's backed off, so hit that one on one. Give him a chance, and I broke the tackle. I didn't think he was gonna break it, so I stopped moving. Good job, number two. All right, we got a speed option right here, but look at them pressing. I'm sorry, check, check, check. All goes, baby. I do not want to run an option with outside leverage plus cornerbacks pressing. That's crazy work. All right, snap of the ball. We get some release. Can we keep it? Yes, we do. Let's go to the crib, baby. Ah, Joe, slow ass. Slow ass. Slow, man. Come on, dude. We giving that because the read is so far off the ball. That's crazy. I hadn't seen any single back yet. Hadn't seen any single back. All right. Got a Texas route right here by the running back. It just depends, man, because I'm looking at this outside in route, and that's going to drive those linebackers into that coverage. That's what we're looking for, but based off of – I mean, that's going to tell you your primary receiver regardless of what the defense is lined up in. One thing that I like, you know, maybe for beginners – that the game would do is change the primary receiver based off of what the defense is lined up in. Because in this, I mean, you got your tight end running a deep out. All right. That's going to hold the safeties. But the thing is, this running back is going to be on the, the, the linebacker. But by the time he, he gets there, play side, that in route is going to be a slow developing route. You have a deep out route by the slot receiver circle. That's going to hold the safety, possibly the corner. The go route is going to hold him. I, only thing I'm looking at is this backside on square, this deep end route could drag those linebackers into this Texas route by the running back. If the safety sits on that, then it'll be one-on-one -on -one with the corner. Somebody's coming open on that side of the field. It's a lot to read right now. See what I mean? That end route, it, it, it's, it ran it right into it. That's... that's <laughs> It was it, it was working. I mean, right here, my tight end is open. Number one, actually, is he? Yeah, he's open. But this is what I wanted to show. Okay, see that linebacker? He gets ran, or actually, they didn't even a linebacker. The corner was in man, right here. This in route runs it right into that route. Like that's, you know, ew, that ball hit him in the hands too. He should have caught it. All right, we got a guy rolling down. Check, check, check. I don't really mind that. We'll throw, we'll throw this this uh curl route. We'll throw this curl route right behind that. Good job. Now, notice in game, you got to make these checks really fast. I I run up tempo a lot, so I get to the line of scrimmage, no huddle. I can audible into what I want to make my checks from there, as opposed to you know, doing it on the fly. Okay, this is going to work out beautifully. Um, I know they're looking at circle, but dude, this, look look to the left side of this, okay? RPO action right here, or play action. Triangle should be open, and we should run that corner off. I'm not looking to the right side of that. That's crazy. Run the corner off. Get those easy yards, guys. Just because it's red doesn't mean that you throw to him. That's just your initial read, if you will. And and like I said, the game doesn't adjust that based off of what the defense is lined up in because that changes a lot. So your primary receiver can be whoever you want it to be, and those things can change. Ooh, let me get outside right there. BYU's playbook is looking pretty fun. I can have some fun with this. Screenplay, this is easy. Look how far off they're playing right here. Oh, but he came down. He came down. We just got to get that ball off quicker. Jesus. Normally wouldn't throw that if they're like that. One-on-one -on -one with the corner. I'm putting him on a go route. I'm going to take my running back and move him out. Okay. And we're going to put him actually on a post route. 
Okay, let's take away any people from there. Put the tight end here to block because they do got some guys in the box. I feel like they're sending somebody. And I'm look, either looking for that post or the go route. My check down will be circle coming across the middle. Post route wide open. Get there. Ah! Dad gum it. If I had some more arm strength, that definitely would have got there. It wasn't a bad play right there. All right. Uh, we got some. It's just a straight pass. There's no RPO. Running backs running a route. Um, circle is being pressed. So I want to actually put him on a fade route. Okay. My slot X is going to hold the safety. So that's fine. And then I have my check down with triangle is who I'm looking at. But I'm looking for this deep post route to give me, give me all the yardage right there, baby. Right there, baby. Give me that with his slow self. Look at him getting walked down. Walk him down. I like that. I don't even know if the check down was open on that, but we ran it anyway. Let's run this ball, even though they lined up to stop the run. Good block right there. I'll take four to five yards. Same thing. We running inside there. Okay, see, so now you see the alignment of the defensive ends outside of my tackles. That's your traditional 3-3-5. Three, three, the other one was a 3-3-5 three, three, tight. So they were lined up um, inside, and they do that to force you to uh, put the ball outside. Or run the ball, spill it, spill it to the linebackers and stuff like that, if you will. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. This would work. My primary receiver running a corner route. Um, I always like to get the safety's attention, man. First of all, um, let's put X on a go route. Let's hold that safety so that post comes open. Hold the safety, play action. Oh, yeah. Didn't get enough protection. Didn't get enough time to throw the ball. We're running it right down their throats right here. Good block right there by number two. My back just slow as Christmas. All right, we got one high safety right here. Tight ends running. Oh. I got a couple of decent routes right here. My back right here, I'm going to be honest, is is he's. I'm not going to use him as a check down. I'm going to use him as a blocker because circle and triangle would be my check downs. I'm looking for this uh, flag route. I get under that. Why can you not control the receivers to have them maneuver? This is RPO right here. And just get rid of that. That play wasn't going nowhere, even on the run. All right. Well, see, we got them pressing, man. I'm going to let them run their little slant routes. That's fine. Whoever they run off, I'm hitting it in the flats. Because they're pressing, these these routes probably won't do too well. I just hit it in the flats. We got to catch the ball, man. We got to catch the ball. Overall, BYU's playbook is it's straight. It's straight, man. It's straight. Hit that because everybody else is covered dissecting this defense dissecting this defense i don't like these types of routes because they are slow developing man like you you ooh, if they bring any kind of pressure you know what i'm saying you gotta have time to throw if you have time to throw those that 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 that's a beautiful route those corner routes are beautiful Okay, what are we looking at here? So we pressing outside. I want to, I like, don't press, man. I'm going to get you every time. Backside, they're not pressing, but I do love that hitch route. All right, let's see what we got. Throw the hitch. Get the completion. Ah, and he dropped it. Nematode. All right, last play here, man. We got a simple screen play. I don't know if we can make this one the last play. They do a really good job of protecting on these truck stick. Ooh, get off him, big boy. There we go. So that's BYU's playbook, man. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section down below. What team should we do next? All right. Simple, man. It's just learning. All you got to do, man, if you know how to read the defenses and you know your routes. I don't even know personnel. I didn't even look at personnel and anything like that. Uh, it's just all about knowing what the defense is lined up in and what you're able to get. Like I said, some key points, guys. Even though red is your primary guy, like it doesn't adjust that based off of what they're lined up in. Like right here, probably be pretty good. If that safety drops, you can definitely get away with this post route. The problem is 
is if that linebacker drops, that's not going to be open. You're going to have a check down. Plus, they're doing a play action. So let's cut the play action. Off. Ah, I gave it. It was an RPO. I should have threw that. I know I said last play, man, but man, it's, it's so fun doing this. It is so fun doing this. They're supposed to run everybody off. I'm going to help them out by putting a guy in motion. Let's, let's clear up that side of the field a little bit more. See, now it's a lot better, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. Get it. Darts. All right. I'm, I'm out for real this time, y'all. What team should we do next? Let me know in the comment section down below. Till next time, thanks for watching. Peace out.